was the son of a pizza man. Hey guys, welcome to Son of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we're making a spinach and goat cheese pizza. So uh, I was inspired by my uncle Victor, who posted uh, a pizza online that he had made, and I was like, oh, that looks really good. And goat cheese is a cheese that I don't really use a lot of, so, and I know it has good flavor on pizza, so I thought, why not? Uh, the only difference is I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna do kind of an experiment. So I'm gonna use uh, half frozen spinach, uh, on one side of the pizza, and then the other half I'm going to do fresh spinach and see what the flavor difference is. So I think it'll be interesting to kind of see see how that how that goes. So uh, let's get to it. So we're ready to top the pizza. The first thing is there's no sauce on this. Uh, I think the sauce would kind of overpower uh, all the other ingredients, so we're gonna keep it very simple and just use olive oil. Just gonna kind of spray it on there. So the first thing I'm gonna add, I think, is the mozzarella cheese. This is fresh grated mozzarella cheese. And I'm gonna add it to the bottom to act as kind of like a glue for the spinach. I'm only gonna do half right now and then do the other half later. Goat cheese. Goat cheese is awesome. Um, if you haven't had goat cheese, you should definitely try it. Uh, like I said, it pairs very well with pizza and it's gonna be delicious. So same thing, I'm gonna sprinkle half of it on the pizza. And then we're gonna have a layer of bacon because who doesn't love bacon? I just thought I needed some kind of like meat and protein on the pizza, so. I went ahead and fried up some bacon. So this is the frozen spinach. I just sauteed this in the bacon drippings, or the bacon fat that was left over, and I added some garlic to it. So very simple, very clean. Uh, and I'm just going to put, like I said earlier, I'm gonna put it on half of the pizza, just so we can see what the difference is. And then here's the fresh spinach. So it's basically uh, baby spinach that you can get in a bag. And I'm just going to kind of lay it out. Like so. And I'm gonna put the rest of that mozzarella on top to kind of cement down the, uh, the spinach. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the rest of the goat cheese, since this is a spinach and goat cheese pizza. Then I'm gonna finish it off with just, just a little bit of oil, just like a drizzle. And that's the pizza. So I'm gonna stick this into an oven. I have it at 550 and I'm gonna put it in there for, let it cook for about eight to 10 minutes and then we'll be right back. Okay, it's uh, eight to 10 minutes later. And unfortunately, I had a little bit of an accident, but- You pooped yourself? I pooped myself after I saw this, but oh. so I went to put the pizza into the oven and I didn't have enough semolina on the front end of it. So when I went to do its thing or whatever, to do, uh, its, what's this? to do its thing, to like shove the pizza and to launch the pizza into the oven, uh, it, it stuck on itself. So it, it kind of flipped over and uh, ingredients went all over the oven. Mm. And so we kind of uh, ended up with a open-faced stromboli thing. Um, so here's what we... <laughs> what we ended up with. <laughs> I think it. And and I, w I was gonna. I, I initially was like, all right, well that's that video. But I kind of wanted to show you that mistakes sometimes end up happy. I don't know. We'll see after we taste it. But um, uh, you should never kind of just give up and just kind of follow through on 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 the mistakes and see what happens. Uh huh. You know. 
I'm real proud of you. Yeah. For thanks. not giving up. Thanks. He's surprisingly uh, happy, uh, considering that he just like ruined his pizza. Yeah. So I'm proud of you. Proud of you, baby. Thanks. You did it. Uh, you didn't do the pizza. Right. You failed. I failed the pizza part, but, but I, you, I think I succeeded in the but you gained a food new, part. In the new skill. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Rolling with a punch. Rolling with a punch. So, so it was supposed to be half fresh spinach, half frozen spinach. Oh, well, it still is, though. I mean, is it's it? It's just all together. Right. Yeah. So let's just try... Um, I'm also sweating. It's still hot here. It's really hot here. And I'm like, feel like I'm dripping into the pizza. And we're, and it's, yeah, well, you know. So, let me it's like actually. the first time I've tasted your sweat, baby. Let me. <laughs> no? Let me wipe, let me wipe down first. Okay, so, uh, so let's just try the pizza. So it's got, so the crust is good. I, I didn't burn it, which is nice. Do you want to try nice. this one that just has all spinach on it, since this is like, kind of like your thing? No. Actually, here, hold on. Cut off a hunk. Cut off this guy. I'm kind of into this freeform pizza. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have a, a new piece. Okay. Okay. Ready? <coughs> yep. Let's go. Goat cheese adds a little, a little bit of tang to the mm -hmm. pizza, which is nice. So the goat cheese and the mozzarella. Pair well with the spinach, I think, and then adding some bacon adds a nice, nice fattiness and like smokiness to the mm. to the pizza. So that's good. Um, I'm bummed that we didn't get to try the fresh versus uh, frozen, but there will be other pizzas. There will be other pizzas one day. So, so yes, this was a happy accident. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think happy accidents normally are like when you like mess something up and it turns out better than it would have been otherwise. And I don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I, I kind of. I'm kind of digging the. I'm digging the. I, way this I love. Goes. I love like thick, thick crust. So. Turn around the other way so you can see the other side. That's yeah. this is pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll try to screw up again next time. Oh my god. I was gonna make a calzone joke, but then I couldn't get my head around it. I'm very tired. Yeah. So, hi guys. Hi. Uh, so anyway, so that's that's the spinach and goat cheese pizza. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. As always, <laughs> I have nothing else to say except uh, don't give up on your your uh, your dreams, your pizza dreams. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you mess up. Just go with it, see what happens. This could have totally gone south and been totally gross, and I could have burned it, and it could have just not worked out, but I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go with it, see what happens. You still had something delightfully edible. Right, so yeah. the lesson is just keep going. Yeah, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Even when you put your dreams into an oven and it just like burns up a lot of it and then you don't get to do what you wanted to do initially but you end up sometimes with a dream that's adjacent to the dream that you dreamt and on that note uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already just hit this button down below and uh, like up this video if you like it and until next time ciao for now smell you later bye bye Was the son of a pizza man The only boy who could